Hey, hey, hey everyone, I'm Dead Hand, and this is my monthly-ish video, uh, a little bit of a Q&A. Uh, according to the date, I'm a little bit behind. The holidays kind of messed some stuff up, but hey, we're going to do what we can. Uh, so this month, uh, December 2014, or yeah, 2014, at least for another couple days, <clears throat> um, I'm going to answer a question you guys asked in the last video, how I... Uh, how do I end up choosing the games I'm going to play for my channel? When I first started doing this video, I was going to give you uh, three bullet points. Uh, the easy one is going to be, uh, do I own the game? Uh, can my computer run the game? And then, do I just feel like playing it? But that seems kind of like a cheap way out to, to go about it. Um, honestly, those are the options right now. Uh, I don't have much money, and I have already bought, uh, I think my Steam account has like 140 games. So that's a quick way to go ahead and play a game. Uh, also, the hardware limitations, because as you guys know, uh, my computer's crap. <laughs> I'm trying to save up for a new gaming rig. Hopefully, uh, that will be uh, in the coming months. Uh, I've talked about on a couple of my videos that I got a second job. Uh, as you can see behind me, all the uh, crap everywhere. I don't have much time as, as I used to. And then, of course, the last thing is, do I want to play it? And do I want to play it for you guys? Uh, so here's how I do it for my tower defense. Uh, I talked about it in one of my latest Pixel Junk Monsters Ultimate videos. Uh, I talked about how I want to play a game that I know. Uh, I don't have to be an expert, you know, but I've at least played through. I have uh, claimed it as a, I have completed it. It is a victory to me. And then I like to end up playing a game that I don't know, a blind run, and have you guys kind of uh, help me out through the comments. Uh, you know, kind of do research on my own on like uh, Wikipedia articles and what have you um, and kind of learn a new game in front of you guys. So I think that's interesting. And then, you know, go back and forth. Uh, for my roguelikes, which is the other main genre I play, uh, I like to, you know, play pretty much any roguelike that my computer can handle. Uh, all of them suck at first. Uh, the first 10 episodes of pretty much any roguelike is me beating my head against a wall and asking a bunch of questions until I figure out, you know, the patterns and, and all that stuff of the enemies, you know. Uh, but after a while, I learn the game, I do pretty good, I'll eventually unlock a whole bunch of stuff, and then, you know, just whenever I get tired of it, it's time to move on. Because as with any roguelike, <laughs> you can, uh, <laughs> as with any roguelike, you can pretty much play it forever. Because most of them end in, like, 20 minutes to an hour and a half. So there's no real, like, uh, I beat it kind of thing. It just kind of, you just kind of get done playing it. Um, and then I move on to a different one. And luckily, the rogue light and the roguelike uh, genre are picking up in the recent years. So there's a crap ton of games that I can play and put in those spots. Uh, on the side, I also like to do adventure-ish games. I like to play Terraria a lot, uh, just because that seems like it's, it's one of the more popular uh, series on my channel, so I get a lot of fan interaction, action, and I love that. And also, I just noticed you guys can see uh, Dublin in the background. Is that the right side? Yeah. Hold on. Let me give me a second. Okay, everyone. This is Dublin. You guys have heard me talk about it in a couple of videos. Uh, he's the one that always gets in front of the monitor and doesn't let me see anything. Uh, but he's rambunctious. Okay. Go go. But that's kind of the basics of how I end up choosing what I want to play. Um, once I get the gaming rig set back up. <clears throat> and I can play more stuff. I will be playing a lot of first-person shooters, a lot of uh, short campaign-ish, you know, 6 to 12 hours. Just kind of get through it, show you guys a playthrough, show you guys, uh, you know, <laughs> how good I am. Show you guys how much I've learned in the game and, and try to show uh, some pro strats if I can. Obviously, I'm not an actual pro gamer, and I don't dedicate, you know, uh, 40 hours a week to one game. I'm not a speedrunner or anything. Uh, but if I can, I'd like to show you guys some uh, advanced stuff or, you know, some, some tactics that I've worked on. Uh, so in the future, it's going to end up mainly being a whole bunch of uh, going down my backlog. Like I said, I have 140-ish games just on Steam alone. Uh, well, I'm only play on PC, but by the way, do you guys like my hair? That crap's getting long. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I was playing with it before I started recording. That is ridiculous. Anyway, let's see if I can get it to poof out. That's ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, eventually, I will post you guys. Post you guys. Eventually, I will post uh, my spreadsheet online somehow or some some way. I'll let you guys see it. Uh, or maybe I'll just do a video about it. <clears throat> um, 
but yeah, I like to go down in my backlog, and I want to hopefully play every single game that I own. That was my goal when I started my uh, my gaming spreadsheet back in 2008, I believe it was. And uh, I think I'm, I've beaten probably more than 60% of the games that I own, so I'm doing pretty decent. Pretty decent. So as always, leave me some questions down below, and I will answer them in my next video. Uh, like I was saying, this is going to last as long as you guys have questions, so, you know, ask away. And uh, I will eventually get to all the questions. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on the Twitters at DeadHandLP. The LP uh, stands for Let's Play. Uh, and you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks. Peace out.